Hi, my name is Marianne Santos, and I am a technology teacher at Paint Branch Elementary School in Maryland. I have taught primarily in the primary grades of one to three for over a decade and have always taught with a focus on technology integration. I have provided several school-based and district-wide trainings on Google for Education Suite and various types of Web 2.0 tools. My goal as an educator is to continue to aid teachers in feeling comfortable and being excited about integrating technology into their classroom and to get students inspired, engaged, and prepared for the real world. What I like about teaching in an elementary school, especially with instructional technology, is how Google can be easily taught and incorporated into the classroom for students as young as kindergarten. Many teachers feel discouraged because they think the students are too young or not ready for it. I love working with my littles and they can amaze you with their abilities. I use Google Drawing for many things. I can virtually make anything with Google Drawing. I can go from creating images drag and drop activities, annotating text, concept mapping, and many others. But my favorite use of Google Drawing is hotspotting images for digital breakouts. I create digital breakouts using Google Slides and get students to work collaboratively to solve problems. Within my digital breakouts, I like to hide clues inside images, which is also known as hotspotting. To create a hotspot, I use an image in Google Drawing. For example, I have a map of the zoo. I choose a particular part of the image I want to link. For example, this part of the image that I purposely changed into Chinese will be linked to a website that I want the students to go to. I will use the shape tool, choose my shape, put it over the area that I want linked, Insert the link that I want the students to go to. Then I will make the shape transparent. Don't forget the borders. When I have edited the image to the way I want, I will then insert it into my Google site. I will go to my drive, into recent, insert the image, adjust the image as needed, Then I will publish. When the students access the website, they can click on the hotspot area and take them to the link that I want to find the clue to solve their problem. 